Good morning, truckers. I'm Josh Jones. Seven new victims were found last night in the Grayson Cemetery. The newest slayings of the Clintonville slasher. Where? Wait. Hold on. It's just in. Uh, we have a video, apparently, of the Clintonville slasher. But um, I must warn you, viewer discretion is advised. It looks like we found his last victim. The name is Lurch Frankenwax, and I hide in the shadows of this small town. <laughs> and you, you are my latest victim. I am the Clintonville Slasher! Hello everybody, welcome back to the Clintonville Slasher. I am your host, Lurch Frankenwilks, and I'm here with... Captain Crowley Black and Sith Song the Hammer Fuck. Uh, guys, welcome to the show. Thanks for thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having us all, man. It's uh, a fucking pleasure. Absolutely, it's a pleasure of mine. Uh, so tell us a little bit about yourselves. <clears throat> well, what do you want to know? <laughs> Everything. Uh, well, long story short, the horror punk band out of uh, Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Uh, kind of leaning more towards the uh, comedic side of things. Because, you know, it's like, we can make people laugh while we're moshing their asses off, like, you know, it's the way to do it. But, uh, you know, he plays bass, I, uh, play guitar, I'm the lead singer, so. Right on. Yeah. Uh, what, what guy got you guys into horror? Um, for me, it was just like, I don't know, watching late night TV when, uh, when your parents tell you you're supposed to be in bed, and then you end up, like, flipping through, seeing stuff like Friday the 13th, like, on Elm Street that type of stuff. And then growing up in the 90s with uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog, that was kind of a huge influence. But uh, yeah, then everything just kind of kept uh, spiraling down that uh, that horror uh, rabbit hole. Awesome. And I just always had a dark uh, imagination. So anything horror or dark is just always felt like home to me. Right on. Right on. Uh, how did you guys get your band started? Well, uh, actually, Segalock was an idea... I had, I had come up with it, uh, the original plan was it was supposed to be a Viking metal band, like, we're going back, like, ten years ago, like, fresh out of high school, but, um, it, it went through a bunch of different, uh, incarnations, changes, for a while it was a solo project, and then about three years back, I hit up, uh, our drummer, who I have known since high school, uh, Sawyer, and I'm like, hey, you know, let's, uh, let's get something started since we kind of have our lives together at this point. And we started jamming for a while. We were doing it as just a two-piece, and then um, we brought in a bass player. He didn't work out. Uh, brought in another bass player. He was around for a while. Then at one point, I couldn't play guitar anymore because uh, I had uh, tendonitis in my wrist. So we had uh, Joe Defiant come fill in for a few shows, and then we're like, hey, let's let's keep this guy around. Then uh, our bassist at the time, shortly after that, left, and... Uh, brought this guy in and we've had a consistent lineup now for uh, shit about a year that's awesome awesome um yeah. what is your favorite guitars to play my personal favorite is my bc rich warlock i have nice. one from the uh what's it, like mid 80s like 85 86 something like that so nj series thing is absolutely fucking beautiful so if you uh if you see a lot of live pictures i'll have that one out if not it's gonna be my uh check to see what's platinum Nice. I love my Jackson. I love it. Hell yeah, man. Uh, what has been your favorite show to play so far? Oh, we've had a lot of good ones, man. I mean, for me personally, fuck. I almost want to say either Hellaware last year or Slasher Fest this past year. I'd yeah. probably say uh, Hellaware from last year, because that was like the beginning of the lineup we have right now, pretty much, and ever since then, it's been that. Awesome. kind of like the start of it, kind of. Yeah, and the story with Hellaware, it's actually funny, because uh, our old bass has kind of bailed on us, and you know, I put out an announcement, it's like, hey, we're going to play Hellaware without a bassist. This guy hits me up, and it's like, all right, this show's in like three or four days, and he offered to learn all of our songs, and... He, he did. <laughs> That's awesome. That's very yeah. awesome. Uh, yeah. What would be your dream show to play? If you could play with any band out there. 
play with any band out there. Yeah. Every mom would probably sag rock three times. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, shit. I mean, we played uh, Alive or Dead? Yeah, Alive or Dead. Yeah. If you got an idea, you go first, dude. I'm, I'm still trying to think. Uh, I'd probably say... Hmm. Misfits, Motorhead, and Wednesday. Nice. That'd be sweet. Yeah, that would, that would be sick. That was kind of thinking of it, because like, we, we did play a show back in November that was like the ultimate lineup. It was uh, Pain, Cold Blood Creep, and Raul the Dukes and us. But as far as like the, the ultimate show, I would say... Probably Evelyn's Casket, mm. Five Cent Freak Show, and Grave Robber would have to be on that bill. Oh, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I ask this to everybody that's on the show, but if you guys are trapped on a desert island and you can only take one band and one of their albums with you, who do you take it? Wait, the band, like, them themselves or just the album? It's your desert island, man. Whatever you want. Oh, fuck. I'm trying to think which band would make the best food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say uh, 98 Degrees. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, let me spares. I can't choose. Yeah. Like, which, which one's going to be the most sustainable to, like, kill them and cook them meat and eat them for a long time until rescue comes? This is resorts. I'm fucking. <laughs> Yeah, I love how it goes. We don't care about their music. I just want to resort straight to cannibalism. That's, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> fucking. Right here, man. That's You're on an island. You can't eat a fucking CD. Either. That's true. That's true. I guess you're just gonna have to eat the band you take with you. <laughs> uh, do you guys have a favorite horror film? Scream. Yeah. yeah. Fucking yeah. love Scream. That's my favorite. Yeah, for me, I, I gotta, I gotta say, Army of Darkness, man. Oh. Both good choices. Both good choices. I'm a, a massive Scream fan. My mom did this one on me. Oh, uh, hell yeah. Nice. That's fucking hot. Yeah. Uh, she did that right before. That was the last tattoo she did before she moved away. So that was fucking... It was super awesome. Uh, what has been your inspiration to start Setlog? Uh, For this version of it, I'd say... When, when we started as a two-piece, I was kind of going off of, uh, like, Murder Dolls, Wednesday 13, that type of stuff. Very and, cool. Uh, at that point, I was I was also fucking drunk twenty four seven, so it, it worked. <laughs> right on, fuck yeah. Um, how did you guys get your start? Um, the first gig we ever played was actually at a barn party. Oh, nice. Just, uh, outside of uh, Ephrata, which is a small mountain town in the middle of Bumblefuck. Um, one of my buddies I worked with at the time, he had a band that was playing there. They were like a psychedelic rock type thing. And I guess I had seen something on Facebook, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to hit this guy up and just see what we can do here. So we played that twice, uh, two separate occasions, and then I want to say about two months later, uh, Ronan put us on bill for a horror punk CSA show at Bar 13, and we've been uh, doing stuff with HP USA since then. Uh, play a lot at the church in Lebanon. You know, we, I think this show coming up in two weeks is actually going to be our 20th show. Oh, wow, wow. Very cool. Um, and the name Seglock, where did you guys come up with that? Oh, you know how every small town has like some kind of urban legend. There's like an area outside of town where it's like, oh, don't go there. There's right. Something you don't want to go down that road. I don't want to go down that road. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go down that road. <laughs> yeah, uh, the town I grew up in, there was a road about 50 minutes outside of town, Seglock Road. And it's this unpaved gravel road that goes through the forest. There ain't shit out there, but the place is, uh, you know, it has a lot of urban legends around it. There's been, like, murders, hauntings, apparitions. I've personally experienced a lot of paranormal stuff out there growing up, because that was, that was kind of where we'd go to uh, get out for something to do, because there was nothing to do in town, you know? Right. So go out in the middle of the forest, uh... Oh, all the times when we've seen paranormal shit, we weren't even smoking weed or drinking or nothing. I mean, there's, there's definitely something out there. What's your, uh, what, tell me your, your best, uh, paranormal story from out there then. Oh, from out there, let's see. There's been times where I've seen shadow people. 
Wow. Uh, there was a time before we even really knew what was going on out there. Me and a couple guys went camping, and we were, we were in high school at the time. And uh, let's see, one guy got choked by something we couldn't see. Um, our, our lights, our flashlights and shit just stopped working. The car wouldn't start up when we finally did book it out of there. It was just, you know, we would hear noises coming from the forest. It was just a fucking bizarre, dude. Crazy. It's like, all right, there's, there's more to this place than we're aware of. So then a couple years down the road, had a paranormal team, and we went through there quite a few times. We got some, some pretty cool stuff. So, but Is... all right, that's, that place, there's something just fucking horrible about it. And it's like, oh, that's a perfect name for a band. Yeah, that's super yeah. awesome. Um, well, how long does it take you to do your makeup? Uh, for me, I, I actually, I've been getting better at it. <laughs> it used to take me about two hours. I got it down to uh, about 50 minutes now. Wow. So, uh, do you guys have any uh, upcoming shows? Uh, yeah, West York in with, um, who we got? Jerk, uh, Dick the Devil and the Deviants, and the Galaxy Has Eyes. That's going to be Friday, July 15th. Very nice. Oh, so what What else is next for you guys? Oh, so weekend after that, we're going back to Bar 13, Delaware, uh, playing with a bunch of thrash metal bands. Fuck yeah. So. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. We're going to have new songs. We're going to have recording. Yeah. Yeah, try to get new material out. Think about, uh, I got to learn how to do, like, some of this recording stuff because the studio is way too damn expensive. Yeah. So, you know, I'd like to record some singles or something. Just a uh, matter of getting around to it, you know? Yeah, that's that's true. Um, you guys coming through Wisconsin anytime soon? Uh, not in the foreseeable future, but I'm not opposed to uh, doing it one day when we actually have our shit together a little better and have you know a van or something so we don't have to take four separate cars. Yeah. Absolutely. I know this uh, shitty metal band that'll play with you. Oh, hey, what band's that? Frank and Ogre. Dude, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, I'm fucking down, dude. Fuck yeah, man! Anytime you guys are ready, uh, we'll dude, fucking we'll we'll make we'll make it happen. You guys, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Um, so where can people find you guys? Uh, let's see, we're on Facebook, um, Spotify, yeah, Spotify, Amazon Music, iTunes, Google Lancaster, Lancaster, <laughs> <laughs> Instagram, uh. Smoking crack behind an Applebee's dumpster somewhere. <laughs> Robbing a grave at 3 p.m. because uh, Rolling Rock hits you pretty hard. Right. Yeah. Right. Hey, if you want to follow uh, Sitlock on any of their social media accounts, uh, they'll all be linked in the description box below. I want to thank both you guys very much for being here. Don't go away. i got a few more questions for you guys. But for everybody else, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your mom. Tell the dead people at the cemetery. And we'll see you next time. Stay fucking horror. Thank you guys very much. <laughs>